Hello, I'm Ryan Rastock, Forest Health Coordinator with the Kansas Forest Service, and the tree we're going to be talking about today is the pin oak, Quercus palustris. It's in the Fagaceae family, which is the beech family. So this species is in the red oak group, and one of the key features that we can look at are the bristle tips on the apex of the lobes of the leaves. You can see these leaves here from the pin oak behind me have these deep sinuses, which is a little bit more different, how you can differentiate that from some of the other trees in the red oak group. And uh, it has a really erect vertical growth habit. That's what we call X current growth habit that goes really straight, just like that with a smoother type of bark. And then the acorns on this species will mature in the second year and then drop around October. Uh, so the natural habitat for this species is usually in these bottomlands or swampy marsh areas throughout its native range, uh, but it's since which gives rise to its species palustris. Quercus palustris means you're originating from a swampy area or marshy area, and so it has since been planted widely as a landscape tree all throughout Kansas. And so, in some of these areas where we have higher alkaline soils, we tend to see a phenomenon called iron chlorosis, which gives rise to these yellowish colored leaves, and you've probably seen this. It's usually due to higher pHs, kind of locking up the iron or lack of iron or root issues in the soil. However, one of the other things that you might notice with this periodically, especially here in Kansas, is during the year you might see the leaves kind of starting to curl up. And these are galls that start to form on the leaves and they start to become distorted. And that is often a precursor to a mite called oak leaf itch mite that many of you who have interacted with this species are well aware of. It's basically a predatory mite that feeds on these gall forming insects. And then in the fall, when people interact with the leaves, it either falls out of the trees or they interact with the mite when they're picking up their leaves or raking their leaves, creating welts and lesions on their arms. And so this is the host plant for their host, oak leaf itch mite. So as you can see with the tree behind me, which is typical of this species, they tend to grow very large and can provide a lot of benefits throughout the landscape. Here on this playground, you can see the amount of shade that a large mature pin oak can cast throughout the landscape. And so now we want to make sure that we're still planting a lot of diversity, but in terms of a shade tree, they provide a great opportunity for shade and landscape to enjoy outdoor recreation. 